ٹرانسکرپشن نمبر ٹوینٹی فائیو فائیو فور تھری ٹو ون مسٹر وائس چیئرمین فرسٹ آف آل آئی مسٹ پلیس آن ریکارڈ مائی گریٹ فل تھینکس ٹو دی یونیورسٹی گرانٹس کمیشن فار دی ورک ڈیٹ دے ہیو ڈن فار دی ایڈوانسمنٹ آف ہائر ایجوکیشن دے ہیو ڈن گڈ ورک اینڈ ان فل کوپریشن وتھ دی ایجوکیشن منسٹری دس آئی تھنک مسٹ انکریج اسٹیٹ گورمنٹس ٹو اسٹیبلش یونیورسٹی گرانٹس کمیشن اور کمیٹیز ان دیر رسپیکٹیو اسٹیٹس وٹ دی کنٹری نیڈس موسٹ از دی کوآڈینیٹیڈ ایفرٹس آف دی آٹونامس یونیورسٹی گرانٹس کمیشنس ورکنگ ان ہارمنی وتھ دی اسٹیٹ گورمنٹس اینڈ یونیورسٹی اتھارٹیز کوآڈینیٹیڈ ایفرٹس آر نیڈیڈ ٹو برنگ اباؤٹ سرٹن یونیفارمٹی ان دی اسٹینڈرڈس آف یونیورسٹی ایجوکیشن وداؤٹ ڈیٹ آر ایجوکیشنل ایڈوانسمنٹ از باؤنڈ ٹو سفر فرام ویریس ٹینشنس اینڈ ڈفیکلٹیز آئی ڈو اگری ود مائی فرینڈ ڈیٹ دی اینول رپورٹ انڈر ڈسکشن از ریدر اے ڈل رپورٹ ایٹ لیسٹ اٹ از ناٹ ایز برائٹ ایز دی ٹو پریویس رپورٹس ور In the previous two reports, the University Grants Commission invited the attention of the nation to certain academic problems, to certain educational needs. Unfortunately, in this report, the University Grants Commission confines its remarks mostly to what has been achieved in the field of university education under the guidance and with the assistance of the university grants commission however sir it is not possible for me to agree with mr santhanam that the university grants commission should not extend help to universities for the preservation of manuscripts manuscripts are of great importance so far as university libraries are concerned it is the duty of universities to preserve those manuscripts and it is the duty of the university grants commission to extend to universities the necessary financial assistance for maintaining and preserving the manuscripts in good order also it is not possible for me sir to agree with my friend that today universities are enjoying too much of autonomy i agree with the university grants commission which 2 years ago remarked that freedom is vital for education and democracy and i personally feel sir that on one plea or the other university autonomy and academic freedom are being restricted rather than being extended as they must be i do not think sir that a social purpose or a social value can be imparted in the teaching by a teacher through the imposition of restrictions on his freedom of thinking I feel that teachers need academic freedom for discharging their duties in an efficient way. If we take into consideration the affiliated colleges, we will notice that the teachers are subjected to such humiliating conditions that it is not possible for them to discharge their duties. to their students to impart to their students any sense of responsibility or any moral values in their lives i therefore sir feel that it is necessary to be more careful about the preservation of academic freedom to teachers sir we are grateful to the education ministry and to the university grants commission for upgrading the salaries of teachers in the central universities yet a great disparity prevails 
in the salaries of teachers of central universities and state universities and affiliated colleges and this disparity is causing a lot of heart burning and a lot of difficulties as one connected with education i may say that there is not such a marked difference in the quality of teachers serving in the central universities and in the state universities and in the affiliated colleges as to justify the great disparity in the salaries of teachers of these institutions i feel sir that we must keep in our mind the remarks of the universities grants commission made in their earlier annual report with regard to teachers salaries we are not only to provide adequate salaries to teachers of affiliated colleges but also to teachers of secondary schools we must remember sir that a great majority of students study in affiliated colleges and the quality of education is largely depend by the quality of work that is done in affiliated colleges for improvement in the quality of teaching improvement in living conditions is also very necessary the university grants commission has invited our attention in its report to the appalling conditions in which teachers have to live but unfortunately the university grants commission has to admit that it does not seem likely that we shall be able to make anything more than the marginal contribution towards this practical need i feel that the university grants commission should pay more attention to the solution of this problem that has so far been paid by it and the education ministry and that the government should not grudge funds to the university grants commission for making adequate arrangements for improving living conditions of teachers who are expected to train the citizens of the country sir in the university grants commission report it is maintained that rupees 12000 should be granted to every affiliated college for the welfare of the teaching staff and the efforts should be made to provide them with quarters and that to in the vicinity of the college where they teach